So it's day five and we got a uh, sunrise start this morning. We started did it around 5 a.m. because we have a 18 mile waterless stretch and we're currently about halfway done with that with about eight miles to go to Scissors Crossing. Currently my body is feeling okay. I've got some uh, pain in my Achilles tendons and knees, but all in all, haven't really gotten a blister or uh, injured myself too bad, which I'm looking, or I'm excited about. Uh, exciting uh, thing happened to me moments ago. First snake on the trail. <laughs> Moved right as I walked by it. As you can see, it's right next to the trail. But you can check that off the list. Saw my first snake. It was not a rattlesnake though. I have to look up if it's if it was poisonous or not. But day five has begun. It's now sunny and hot. And eight miles to go for the day. Later. headed uh, through the valley today uh, at the end of, of our 18.7 mile hike. Uh, it might be a little windy uh, in the audio. I'm testing out the uh, small microphone. Oh, this is my sun gear. It works out really awesome. It's an OR uh, athletic base layer and I'm loving it. So, pitching into Julian getting or camping at I think a church and getting some pie but we hiked 18 miles of pretty much before noon just uh, half an hour after kind of crazy later I sprained my Achilles tendon on the uh, end of day four and the end of day five and had to take a zero to recover. Luckily it's pretty minor and I'm hoping that it doesn't turn into something that can't be manageable on the trail. But we got a full day in Jillian. Uh, it's Easter weekend so uh, hotels are really hard to come by when we came into town. So we had to stay at a $210 bed and breakfast. Luckily it's split between four people. Uh, but we're back to the trail, back to Scissors Crossing. And currently we are going to be sleeping under a bridge, which is, is gonna be fun. Uh, we'll see how many times a semi wakes us up at night. 